Switching divisions now, uh, breakout players in the AFC North, and he is a Jersey boy, yeah, so he must be living, um, I think he was in LBI. Um, anyway, so let's start with the Bengals, all right? I'm going to pick here uh, Hayden Hurst. I think uh, CJ uh, Azuma was definitely a good tight end. Hayden Hurst is an upgrade, I think. I think Hurst is a really good player. I really, really liked his stuff in Atlanta. I think he's going to be a great addition to this offense, which is already loaded. Burrow's got himself a bona fide stud at tight end this year. I think Hayden Hurst... Um, is definitely is in line for a breakout. It's a shame that the Bengals don't have a legit um, blue chip. Not say blue chip, but like a legitimate big play backup running back. Because then I would it would be the easy pick for me because like the Geo Bernard. I know of the Joe world. Mixon has been proving a lot of people wrong over the mm-hmm. last couple of seasons, but there's still something about Mixon that I'm afraid of, and I think it's his time now to maybe if it, it all come tumbling down injury wise. The Bengals played a lot of football games last year. There's that Super Bowl hangover when you lose. Going, I think the Bengals are a real chance at regression this year. I think that's obvious. I think people will agree with me on that. You said that about the Bills last year. And you I were... think people will agree with me on that. But I don't see many guys across the offense that have a chance to really break out other than Hayden Hurst. So I'm going to stick with another tight end when we move on to the Steelers. I'm going with Pat Freemuth. I like him. I like him a lot. Last year he came on very strong towards the back end of the season. Actually, all year he was... Pretty consistent, and consider the fact that he was catching balls from Big Ben. I think he actually does better, whether it be either Mitch Trubisky or Kenny Pickett. You know what I mean? Like I think he's going to flourish it's, it's again. It's definitely not going to be Kenny Pickett out of the gate. Because Ruth is like the elite dynasty tight end option right now. There's a couple guys you would take over him, Kyle Pitts, and you know the obvious Kelsey. And But Ruth I think, is going to be a stud. And moving on over to the Ravens, we're both in lockstep here. We think Rashad Bateman is going to be the guy in Baltimore. Listen, you know why? Because he has to be. Because they got nobody else down there. And and Lamar Jackson is looking to get paid, right? He's looking to get this big, big extension. Well, he has to do it through the air. You're not going to be a sustainable quarterback in the NFL. Just ask RG3 or any of these guys that decided they wanted to run for the first five years of their life. The life expectancy of a guy playing running back, which he's doing right now, is not long. He's got to have to put the ball in the air. It's got to be Bateman, right? That's the guy with the well, they got rid of Hollywood Brown because I feel like they right. believe in Bateman. Bateman has like this. There's his catch radius is really big for a guy his size. He has great route running ability. I think Bateman, if he didn't deal with the the nagging injury early last year, he would have been one of those breakout rookies. You guys all know that if you watched the show last year, I talked about Bateman almost every week. I thought he would finally get his opportunity, and he had flashes. This year, it's another step. Now, we're going to the Browns. I'm going to take a guy that should be breaking out of jail, and that's Deshaun Watson. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm not kidding. You should go to jail. But anyway, I'm going to take the defensive side of the ball for the first time. I'm moving on over, and I got a big, big expectations for this rookie, Grant Delpert, safety. I think that the, he's going to have one of those years that he – is adding himself to an already really good secondary. So I think, honestly, he's he's going to be able to be a little bit more mobile than any other safety in the league where he can move inside the box, play a little linebacker, come out, play a little safety. He could do it all. Grant Delpert, I studied a lot of his tape last year because I did want the Cowboys to take a look-ski at uh, Mr. Delpert, but I think he's going to be the breakout guy for the Browns. I have a tough one with the Browns because I don't see many breakout options, but... <laughs> I do think Donovan Peoples-Jones has the ability to improve Ooh, on Peoples his Jones numbers. Hive. So this is for an A.J. Bascon President of that right fan club is A.J. I know, it's, I know it's, it's his favorite player ever. So Donovan <laughs> Peoples-Jones, if you're looking at it, they have an improvement in the number one receiver with Cooper. So not that he wasn't getting the number two coverage last year in Donovan Peoples-Jones, but I think Cooper might demand more of a double team than anybody that he's ever played with. <laughs> Until it's you the fourth quarter. Odell, but Odell wasn't really healthy the last couple of years. Nope. So even when he was on the field, they weren't really using him. And you know how that story played out. Donovan Peoples-Jones is going into this year with the clear-cut number two job, which he hasn't had yet going into a season because they've always had Odell and, and Landry. Right? So now he's the clear-cut Bless number him. two. A little more uh, vote of confidence from the, from the coaching staff. And obviously has a better understanding of the playbook. Just don't know who's going to be throwing on the football yet. 